Hello, it's Emma McNally here. I'm a children's author. And so normally I like to go out and visit schools to do author visits and do some book signing in local bookshops. At the moment though, we're unable to do that. So I thought it would be really cool if I read some of my books to you so you can enjoy them in the comfort of your own home. So the one I'm reading today is about Cloudosaurus Rex. So it's about this dinosaur who lives in the sky and depending on how he feels depends on the weather we have. So there's a verse in there um, that rhymes that basically you can join in with the actions. So get yourself some space. I'm going to start reading the book and I'll let you know when you can join in with me. Okay, good stuff. So where did all the dinosaurs go? They disappeared many years ago. They no longer walk on the earth, that's true, but we've found a secret to share with you. So stand on one leg and close one eye, tilt your head and look to the sky, and up in the clouds you may just see a cloudosaur watching you and me. The cloudosaur Rex is king of the sky, and it's he who decides if it's wet or dry. Some days he's friendly and others he's rude. The weather we see is the same as his mood. So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? So, on Monday, the cloudosaurus is a scary beast. He eats other clouds for his lunchtime feast. He's huffing and puffing. He is so cross. He blows strong winds to show who's boss. So you ready for some actions? So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? Tuesday. He feels sad and starts to cry. Rain falls down as he wipes his eye. He sees his friends and they ask him to play. He stops being sad and the rain goes away. So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? On Wednesday he's happy and the sun shines bright. The sky is blue and the clouds are white. He likes to dance in front of the sun, casting shadows on everyone. So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? So... Next day is Thursday, so on Thursday he is grumpy and sulks in the sky. Stamping his feet makes the thunder roll by. He stamps and roars with all of his might. With each big roar there's a flash of light. So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? So, Friday. He's full of mischief and plays a joke. He covers our garden in a big white cloak. He laughs to see us playing below, building a cloudosaur out of the snow. So ready again? So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? On Saturday, it's foggy. We can't see a thing. He's fast asleep, enjoying a lie-in. The mist is so thick, he can't be found. His blanket of cloud touches the ground. Are you ready? So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? On Sunday, he's relaxed and feeling fine. He floats away to let the sun shine. It's Monday tomorrow. Then what will he do? Will he be jolly or start feeling blue? So stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? So if you're feeling sad, don't forget. If a cloud of source is sad, You'll get wet. Give him a wave. 
put on a smile and see if a rainbow will shine for a while. So last time, stand on one leg and close one eye. Tilt your head and look to the sky. Can you see him? What is his mood? Should we wear sandals or a snuggly snood? So that's it. That's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will be back, I'm sure, to read more books to you very, very soon. So look after yourselves. Keep safe. If you wanted to do some activities, you could visit my website, which is www.haroldhuxley.co.uk. And there's lots of free stuff for you to do. There's word searches. There's colouring in. There's some puzzles there as well. So if you've enjoyed listening to the books, visit the website and you can download some free stuff to enjoy. All right, look after yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.